As I'm preparing myself, <laughs> um, okay. I swear it's so difficult being in a wheelchair when you think you're about to do something and it just doesn't happen the way you want it to. You feel me? Hey, everybody, come on in. Let me share this with my guests. Hey, everybody. I see y'all. Y'all see my guests is coming. I'm still preparing. I'm still getting ready. Um, I don't know what's going on with this right now. Don't judge me, y'all, because if that's what you're doing, you ain't got to do that. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm still preparing. Let me make sure that... make sure that I made that I text them so I forgot to text them back earlier. <laughs> Let me get my chair in a better position. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um I love texting, period. So as we get in there popping, waiting on my guests to come through. For the couch chronic, couch chronic, where there ain't no fucking limits, 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 limits. Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 Central Time, you don't never want to miss a couch. Trust me, it ain't no fucking limits. I said none. Thank you, everybody that's watching on YouTube. I appreciate the patience. Honestly, I'm usually done before I'm ready. I'm usually ready on time, but something happened. This not love. I got some good stuff in store. Now, Instagram should be better. Let me share the live with my people. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I hope this is better. Okay, is that better? I hope so. We're going to redo that again. For the couch chronic, couch chronic, where there ain't no fucking limits, 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 limits. Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 Central Time, you don't never want to miss a couch. Trust me, it ain't no fucking limits. I said none. Now, because I got a guest today, I'm going to play his music. Good luck. This is a gorgeous event. G status, ATL. Gorgeous with the eyes, only one of them that I die.
dot idol. I spelled it wrong on Instagram, but this is his Instagram tag. <laughs> his Instagram tag is this, okay? And he, it will be in the description correctly. And it is on everywhere else correctly. Just on the live on Instagram, you'll see in the little top part, it says live with Gorgeous Montana. Okay? Because there's only one of him. Okay? Now let me just double check. You know, everybody has trouble when it comes to uh, getting on a live. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but um, a lot of times when I have a guest and they're like, uh, "How do I get on the? Um, how do I get on the Instagram?" I'm like, Phew. "I'm just learning this too." <laughs> yes, there's my guest. Come on in. Invite you on up. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Let's get it. I had to run it back a little bit because he just got it. I had to run it back a little bit. I think you already know. You don't look like kicking on the face. He just get walked up now. It's the Jesse J sample for me. Can you hear me? Uh oh, gorgeous must be outside today. Bitch, we outside today. Ain't that what they be saying? Is it me that's out there in here? Am I blessed now? Can you see me? <laughs> if you're watching on Instagram, let me know if I'm still buffering or if it's gorgeous. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Leave me a comment and let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know. Let's try this one more time. Is it me? Is it me? Oh, it's me? Okay. He said it's me. Oh, okay. I see it. Yes. Okay, okay. I was just making sure. Not is him. Last one. Okay, wait. How do I get the other one? I see the other you. <laughs> okay, let me restart the live because your face is stuck. This is crazy. I'll be right back. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> oh, no, did it sexy. Who put her on? Respectfully. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's on YouTube that's tuned in and being patient. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. All right. This should be better. Welcome to the couch. We are in the couch simulation. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, y'all can see me now. There we go. I know I'm up here being petty and shit. This is the couch simulation. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's watching on TikTok and YouTube. Listening on Spotify and Pandora, I definitely appreciate y'all. Today, my guest is Gorgeous Montana. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I'm digging that bread. Yes. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? And I'm loving the red. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You hear me? Because you be doing it. You be doing it. No, <laughs> I'm number one. I'm so thankful that you came to the couch. I I love you. I follow you. I listen to your music. Like I fuck with you for real. All the way here in Oklahoma. All the way. Okay. <laughs> Period. Now, for for those that don't know who 
who you are. Can you tell everybody what your name is, where you're from? Okay. Now, what all do you do? Uh, as of now, I'm, uh, shit, I'm rapping. Okay. I'm in music. I'm in music. I was stripping. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let that lifestyle go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to grind into the rap. That's where that happened. That's really caught me with the house. Right. 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 What's up? I like that. <laughs> I like that. Now you auditioned for the Bad Boys. Uh-huh. Do you feel like you being kicked off before you even got started wasn't right? What? How you feel about that situation? Playboy. Now, do you feel like that's something that you have to know? You have to be knowledgeable of the people that's, you know, back in the show and that's, that's that have to do with the show and all of that? Um, no, not for me. Right, because that's not what it's really about. It's not about learning who the people was. Exactly. Now, what about the Bad Boys? Can you give us a little background on that one? That Afro got down 13 hours of the Houston, Texas. And, uh, yeah, basically, by the time I made it up there to sign my, uh, the, uh, the papers, EPAs and stuff, uh, everything got shut down. So, it, it really wasn't, it really wasn't too much to that. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, um, with the Bad Boys, because I tried, I was going to do it, the Caribbean one. I ain't going to lie. I was going to do it. But um, I felt like they already had everybody that they wanted picked out before they even did the audition. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to do the audition to, you know what I'm saying, build up a high page. But 10 out of 10, they got, they already got everybody picked out. You feel me? They may choose like one or two people, but other than that, they already got everybody picked out. Mm-hmm. Now, was it like that for the other show? Why do you feel that is? Huh? Why do you feel like that is? They already have they pre picked. Uh, it's to get the people trying to do, make the people feel involved. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You want some people fucking with in the same in the same you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Most of them are extra trying to get close. That's why they're trying to close to the people there. Mm hmm. Now, why did you want to go on to the shows? Exactly. Exactly. That's real, though. And for those that's watching, some of us have to do other things to get more exposure. Not everybody is out here uh, dealing drugs and got all the drug money in the world. I'm so sorry. But not a, bu not a lot of us want to keep going in that lifestyle. So, we got to get it how we get it. Now, did you more or less so... Did you gain any followers or lose any followers, or the followers have been the same since you've been on the show? Uh oh, I think we buffering again. It's okay. If y'all just now tuning in, it is the Couch Chronicles, where it ain't no fucking limit. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Make sure that you follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, CHA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles dot no limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. -L. We're live on Instagram with Gorgeous Montana, but right now it's a little bit of buffering, maybe because of the area that he's in. 
which is fine. Um, when he comes back up, we can we'll bring him back up. In the meantime, we're gonna throw on another song and we're gonna keep it moving. I got a lot more questions, so gorgeous. If you're still in the comments, come back up. I got some more to say. Trust me. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. I appreciate y'all. Everybody that's watching on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Oh, and Spotify and Pandora. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get a song going. I just took another shot of the shot. All my people's about to shoot the smash in the sky. Gotta meet you on the dance floor. I get the move on my body like I'm a dancer. Yeah. I'm a man who I'm on my ground to. I'm a hair recorder behind her eyes. Yeah. She gon' get the job below and that's when I'ma slide to it. That's when she gon' make a move and that's when I reply. Look. I got a thing for you. for you. Maybe it's the way you move. And if you keep on dancing how you dancing, I'ma take you home and eat it like my favorite food. Yeah. You gon' get yourself a something you ain't even ready for. All you gotta do is shoot your shot cause I'm available. When we leave the club, it's whatever, baby. Let me know. I might have you caught up cause I'll be dripping from head to toe. I'ma touch on it while I let you suck on you. If I fuck on it, then you might be stuck on me. So when I give it to them, I get just enough of it. Cause if I give them too much, they be doing too much. How you feeling like looking for me in the day? What it like? Hey, your mind blown, you never seen this type. In other words, I had you at the crib screaming like. Montana is right back up. Yes, we can hear you. Make sure that y'all follow Gorgeous Montana on all social media. His Instagram is one gorgeous with an I dot idol. So make sure that you follow him. His information will be in the description as well. All right. Now, my last question was, do you feel like you gained more followers since then? Yo, you know you're doing a real interview when you don't give a fuck where you at. Don't play. <laughs> don't play. It's okay. We Look, my phone be tripping too sometimes, so y'all got to bear with me. So anytime I have a guest and their phone is messing up, I'm going to bear with them. Guess what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to bear with you. <laughs> okay, he probably needs to come back up. So we can get started. Three times, maybe four times. Four times. Got you coming in like old times. Short times. I'm ready to power up. Keep running on that thing till I make you buzz up. Uh, yeah. Is she ready for another round? You said fuck yeah. You hit it when our problems got me feeling like I'm up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From the club to the crib, you got me singing like. Uh, I just took another shot. Shot all my people's about to shut the smash in the sky. Gotta meet you on the dance floor. I get the move on my body like I'm a dancer. Yeah. I'm a man. Montana is on the couch all the way from Atlanta. Now, what I asked the last question was, 
Did you feel like you gained more followers since being on the show? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it, it was crazy. It was it was crazy. I ran into like old girlfriends and just oh shit, I ran into y'all I made a new page. Oh damn. Right. No, for real. For real. Now, would you try out again? Right. Now, what show would you like to be on this time? Damn. They like, fuck the money. They gonna beat each other up for free anyway. <laughs> yeah, or whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? So that was the whole reason why I went out there. So, you know, hey, they got 10K for the season one, you know what I'm saying? Like that half year season two or 20K for season two. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what was going to be the play for? Then I could understand why we fight, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, but it's just the money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Now, um, you call yourself the black Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Can you tell everybody why? So you feel like you carry that same sex appeal and Now, th- th- we ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. It's, now, do you feel like you're delusional? Oh, nah. Yeah, we... Okay, okay. You know, because people crazy in them comments. Huh? I said people crazy in them comments. <laughs> I already know. It's too much. I'd be like, uh-uh. Now, for someone who's never listened to your music before... How would you describe it? Um, motivation. Hopefully, when you listen to my music, you get a message. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, a, a movie is playing in your head when everybody is getting trapped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, that comes to motivation. It's real life. It's real life shit in that music behind it. Right. Exactly. And y'all, um, the very first song that I played today was "Moving in Silence" and. If you go to his page, you'll see a little clip of a video of him performing it. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Make sure you go check that out. And you got a new single that's dropping tonight at midnight. Yeah, uh, with the folk, uh, Rico Captain 97, we got it called Deep. It come out tonight at 12. And the video will come out Friday. Okay. I'm excited about that. Yeah, me too. Y'all do a lot of music together. Who, me and JB? Yeah, y'all think y'all did like two songs together? Right. Y'all actually have a good collab. Like, y'all right. sound good together. Yeah, it was an honor to be working with him. Because he's from Milan as well, you know what I'm saying? So we, we grew up with each other. Mm-hmm. So just, man, him in a different field and me, me in the field. And we working together like that. I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to doing um, 
you know, features with other artists? How do you go about getting um, features with other artists? Uh-huh. Do you are you into networking? Do you do they reach out to you? Do you reach out to them? Okay, so when you do music with other people, you make sure that the business part is done right. Yeah. Okay. So are you under management? Huh? Are you under management? Okay, okay. Now, how would you explain your style? I see you don't have the blonde in today, and you got the red. I said, I see you ain't got the blonde in today, and you got the red. Right. Exactly. Now, I do have a question. And any question that I ask, if you're not comfortable with, we can skip it. Um, what is your sexual preference? I know earlier today you said you, you, know, you had ex-girlfriends hitting you up. Would you consider yourself pansexual, bisexual, or... So pansexual is uh, one of me. You know, I don't believe that love has a gender. So, you know, to me, it's very different than bisexual. Um, bisexual is a little bit different to me. But a lot of people claim to be bisexual because they don't know what pansexual is. But love is love. You know, love doesn't have a gender. Love comes in all forms. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now, do you? More so, huh? You know, it's, um... Right, and and I was gonna say, you know, my my wife, um, she's really good friends with um, this couple, and um, her the lady, her husband is a cross dresser, and he's completely straight. He just is a cross dresser. There's nothing wrong. I feel like it's nothing wrong with being a cross dresser. However, you're comfortable, just be comfortable. Right. 
<laughs> right. Now I will say this. When it comes to when it comes to men cross dressing, I'd rather a man cross dress than to be like act talking like me. I'd rather him cross dress and be like, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Hey, you know what I mean? Like, look at my hair. Instead of, ew, hey, girl, bitch. Right. And I love that about you. I love that about you, for real. Now, who... That's real. Now, um, is there a certain person or um, a event or something that um, maybe inspires the wigs? Do you feel like you're a trendsetter? Do you feel like you're a trendsetter? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that too about you. <laughs> I really do. Now, um, when people talk about Atlanta, what do you think they say? Atlanta. Like when people talk about Atlanta from different states. What you think they say? Um, I don't know what I say about it. No, what do other people say? Have you ever heard any rumor about Atlanta? Yeah, I hear a lot of stuff about Atlanta, but I really don't pay too much. I really don't pay too much attention to it because it's like a lot of y'all are not from here. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers talk to me, but I can lie and tell y'all up. Y'all not from here, bro. What that means, though. <laughs> right now, the the rumors. I used to live in Jonesboro, Stockbridge. So. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy because when I used to live out there, um, I had a really good friend. His name is uh, Reggie. And I used to tell him to come over every day. Like, we used to kick it. And the whole time, do y'all know my dumb ass thought he was gay? And he wasn't. No. And I was like, this is my gay friend. He was like, why you, you think I'm gay? I was like, you, you not? He was like, no. I was like, oh. But the way he talked, it'd be like, hey, you know, like. So I was just thinking that, you know what I'm saying? So before I moved to Atlanta, everybody was like, everybody out there, no matter who you talk to, is is gay. I said, okay, well, that's the place I need to be. Well, my gay ass, let me go out there. <laughs> but come to find out, he was, he was, no. He was actually like, damn, I didn't even know that you thought that about me. I was like, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was embarrassing, though. But a rumor that I've heard about Atlanta is almost everybody out there is um, gay or trans. But there's gay and trans everywhere. I live in the gay community in Oklahoma City. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts. 
Now, if you had to change your, if you had to change your artist name, what would it be? You wouldn't. Fuck it. I know that's right. Do you have any musical inspirations? Is there anybody in the music industry that inspires your sound? No, but I thought you might have been like, you know what? I listen to a lot of such and such, and they kind of inspired a song. Or no, I mean, I got rappers that I like, but I ain't, ain't nobody really like inspired. Who's your favorite artist? Okay. Now you used to be a male stripper. Can you tell people, you know, about that? What was that like? Um, now the scene out here for male strippers and, um, you know, exotic male dancers is getting really, really huge, um, in, in the Oklahoma area. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I actually had, I actually had a few of them on the podcast, uh, last month. Um, they do a lot of events with, uh, costumes. Which is pretty dope. I've never been into male strippers, you know, um, but I've always liked to see males dance. Just not, you know, with the little dingling uh, dress on and the little flapping of the, you know what I mean? I just, <laughs> I've never really been into that. But however you get your money. Now, was your outfits kind of like how, did you have to wear like the big dress and No, that's right, yeah. So I think you had on this, it was like a pink and lime, was it lime green, pink and lime green? What, it was green and Yeah. Yeah, that was my super outfit. That was custom too, huh? Yeah. That was fire. It was pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. Yeah, that was, that shit is fire. I said, ooh, when I say you about to make some money tonight in that. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gorgeous with the super outfit. I know that's right. <laughs> Y'all, if you just now tuning in, it is the Couch Chronicles where it ain't no fucking limit. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Make sure that you follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, CHA Couch. Huh? Oh, no, she didn't call my phone. Oh, okay. Make sure you follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, THA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Make sure that you follow my guests on all social media. One Gorgeous, wait, one, no, it's One Gorgeous. Yeah, One Gorgeous dot idol. Dot idol. Yeah, I got two pages. Okay. What's your other page? Gorgeous uh, underscore my channel. Okay. Okay. Yes. And his information will be in the description, so make sure to follow and support him. Support him, listen to all his music, stream his music. He got a new song that's coming out tonight at midnight. If you haven't already pre-ordered it, it's okay. It's going to be out at midnight, so you're going to order it, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, you got to get the order. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now, my next question is, when you started off stripping, was it for uh, unisex or was it uh, just for females?
What do you feel like makes you stand out? <laughs> Anytime. What makes you stand out? <laughs> They say he is great. His music is lit. Yes, it oh, is. Facts. Would you say that you're a good role model? Right. And your music ain't like, I'm about to shoot a nigga in the throat. It, it ain't. Yeah, or it ain't on no shit like that. And that's what I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, now, do you have any other features that you have that's coming out soon that we haven't heard yet? What about your own projects? You got any more? Hmm? You got any more of your own projects coming out? you this how come you want to re-release your old music is is it going to be a different sound to it is it yeah it's probably going to be a different sound to it okay like, uh, probably like remix it or just turn it around this like mm -hmm. i never heard of nobody doing that that's that's actually kind of dope you feel like Right. You know, I was thinking of, see, I thought about that, but not like that. I was thinking about doing my first album, um, like, uh, you remember back in the day? No, you remember back in the day when they used to do, uh, slowed down versions and I was thinking about that. You know what? Shout out to all the artists that's tuned in as well. Send your music to me. I want to hear it. I I love listening to new music. But if you don't want an honest opinion, don't send it to me. Don't send it to me at all. <laughs> How do you pick a beat? Say what they want to uh, say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I guess improvise for the beat purposes. So, yeah. So you want to be able to rap what you, like, hear in your head and have somebody make a beat around you. Yeah, that's what I be working on. That's what I, yeah, that, that's the biggest thing right there. Oh, yeah. Instead of having a beat already made, now I got to work around the beat. Oh, yeah. Well, if you have something like that, send it to me. I, 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 I got to. Now, the couch got a personal producer. That make everything. And he used to do, you know, um, P. Grizzly shit, uh, Fetty Wap, Boosie. He worked with a lot of different people. He used to be hell of an engineer and hell of a big producer in Detroit. So I would definitely link you in with him. For real. Okay. That's why I was saying if you... What's his name again? MAV.GD on Instagram. Let me type it in too. GD means good drop for the gang bangers that's watching. <laughs> you 
Now, can you tell me about Moving in Silence? Moving in Silence. Can you give us the backstory of that song? Uh, Moving in Silence was made during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a song that I wanted to So your, your family is... You uh before you even got in, I was playing it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Now, um, do you have videos to all of your music? Right, but do you have videos for all your other songs? Okay. Okay, so y'all make sure. Is it on your own YouTube channel? Do you have a YouTube channel that they can follow? ATL TV, make sure that y'all go follow that page on YouTube. Make sure that y'all follow it on YouTube. And then send it to me as well so I can put it in my description. Okay, I will. Okay. Now, um, how long does it take you to write music? Really? Yeah. Because you be busy? Oh, okay. Everything that you write about is real life situations that you've been through yourself. Yeah. And you write all your own music? Mm-hmm. You write all your own music? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yes. Have you wrote for anybody else? No. I was going to try to write for this one chick um, down in Florida. But we ain't never worked yet. Okay. But yeah, I, would, I wouldn't mind. I would want to write, would write for a female. Mm-hmm. Are you more into freestyling or writing? Writing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you write, you get to get your thoughts out more articulated. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, like it's more of a personal time for myself and my thoughts to the paper. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I like that, for real. Now, if you can change one situation that happened in your life, what would it be? I want a kid too. I actually uh I started my podcast because I was held hostage in the hospital that's that's out here. They held me hostage for ten days. I was in there for a migraine that I had for three weeks. They took my spinal fluid, tried to kill me three times, and made it to where I could never have kids. They made it to where I could never have kids and so I was like, I need therapy. I need something to, to be an outlet. Like, I was real depressed after that. So I started my podcast, and it's my third season. I've been doing it ever since. Hey, that's yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm keep like, going, oh, going. yeah. I ain't stopping for shit. I, last year, um, my podcast won um, Oklahoma City's uh, favorite podcast. And I'm going for it again this year so I can... Two years, you know what I'm saying? I need two of them little statues over there. (laughs) Facts. Now, what's been the worst hood for you? Adulthood or childhood? (laughs) I mean, I'm still going through adulthood. Right. (laughs) I can't really say. I ain't really had no hard life. Mm Mm-hmm. 
What was your life like growing up? Mm. What was your life like growing up? Not everybody can say that, so shout out to you and everybody else that's out there that had a great childhood, because thank you. That's good. That's good. You had a loving family that loved you. For real. Yeah. That's beautiful. Like, Right. What about in the area that you stayed in? What was that like growing up in there? Mm-hmm. What was it like growing up in Atlanta? Uh, Atlanta can be a bad lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a bad place to die live. Mm-hmm. Um, if it wasn't my dad, you know what? Um, I can't really say. I had some guidance. Some serious guidance. You know what I'm saying? Some structure in life. What helped you stay away from all of that? What helped you stay away from all of that? Like how you said my name. <laughs> <laughs> Have any moments that has been a really proud moment that you could remember? So, what has been your favorite state to be in? Um, Arizona. Okay. I want to move to Arizona. Uh, I fuck with Chicago. I love Memphis. Um, Atlanta. Um, Atlanta is cool. Atlanta is cool. Um, Atlanta is cool. 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 Atlanta is only reason why I left is because I went to Detroit right after, so, and I stayed in Detroit for about two, three years, four years, and it was amazing. I miss Detroit. Yo, I fuck Detroit, yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, that was a good time in my life. Okay. Now, what was high school like for you? Right. Right. 
When do you feel like you knew who you were? Or when you started to realize who you were? Okay, you were right. Fuck what everybody else got to say. Shut up. <laughs> I'm done with you. You're crazy. <laughs> now, I have seen you, you know, um, doing a lot of networking and, and getting on different podcasts. How do you get booked for different podcasts? Do they reach out to you or? Yeah, they reach out to me. Facts, because I know I did. I was going to... If y'all ain't seen me in the comments, I said, I I had been on your bumper. I said, I'm going to get gorgeous on the motherfucking podcast. But, <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> you. For real. Yes, I love me some you. Y'all, if you just now tuning in, it's the Couch Chronicles, where it ain't no fucking limits, okay? Make sure you follow Couch Chronicles, No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, T-H-A Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles dot no limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. Make sure that you follow my guest on all social media. His information will be scrolling in the back as well. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can see it the right way. If you're watching anywhere else, it might look a little backwards. But make sure that you follow one gorgeous dot idol on Instagram. Okay, it's gorgeous Montana. Now, I got some more questions if you still got time. I see that you buffering, so I'm going to roll over here and play another song. Actually, I don't think I need to roll. Maybe I don't need to roll. Maybe I don't need to roll. Because I also show some shit. Okay. I'm going to roll on over there. We're going to jump into another song, and we're going to get Gorgeous back on up here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Come on back. Let me throw another song on. You can go. Thank you guys for being patient. is amazing i think about you every day and night if it ain't you then it ain't my type baby you're the truth i ain't gonna lie i'm addicted cause i'm so high up you i'm chasing chasing i'm chasing you i'm wasted 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 off you i've been sipping sipping when i'm off that you got me tipsy i'm hella buzz when i'm off that you everything spinning everything blurry when i'm off that you in Manhattan, got me feeling kind of old-fashioned, tequila sunrise and it happens, control me marks in Spanish, I really don't think I can manage, I know if I'm with you then I ain't gonna drop, if I'm off you then I ain't gonna lie, this is how I feel when angels fly, too much of you ain't the answer, I hate to say it baby you a cancer, but you made me feel so romantic, got me headed straight to the dance floor, I feel like I'ma be here all night, when I'm with you everything alright, cause you made me feel so warm inside, I'm addicted Cause I'm so high up you I'm chasing, chasing, I'm chasing you I'm wasted, wasted, wasted off you I've been sipping, sipping when I'm off that you Got me tipsy, I'm hella buzz when I'm off that you Everything spinning, everything blurry when I'm off that you Everything litty, everything pretty when I'm off that you Patron on a hitty, I really ain't picky Long as it's you Watching the couch, okay? 
saying? Because it's the Couch Chronicles where it ain't no fucking limit. Sometimes you'll hear songs on my podcast that'll never be released, like that one. It'll never be released, but you can always hear it right here on the couch, vibing out, okay? Now, Gorgeous, if you're still in the live, I have a few more questions if you got some. I'm going to share the live with you as well. But, um, wait. It was buffering again. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. It's the Couch Chronicles, of course. Where they know fucking limit. If you want to support the couch, it's never mandatory, but it's always appreciated. You can cash out, PayPal, or Chime, T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L, or you can send me stars on Facebook. Either one. I am not tripping. Or you can go vote for the couch. Go vote for the couch for Oklahoma City's favorite podcast. Yes. Yes, I said. Hold on. Let me. Give me a second. I'm going to roll over here real quick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we going for round two this year. Last year, I did win. So, um, for the people that have been inboxing me, like, girl, you already won. Yes, I won last year. I did. But, I want to win again this year. <laughs> it might not mean much to y'all. But it means something to me. This is dope. And shout out to everybody that's already voted for the couch on Facebook. I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. If you don't know how to vote, the information is in my well is on my page and it is behind me so if you do not know how to vote trust me i hit the link too and it went like it didn't go to a page it's like that sometimes so i'm not mad but there's a way to do it and i can show you let me see this Okay, okay, you guys, gorgeous is, well, you guys, I was only really supposed to do an hour, but I'm still here, I'm still here, it's okay, gorgeous isn't coming back because his phone died, but it's all good, make sure that y'all follow gorgeous on all social media, follow him on all social media, it's all about love, support, good vibes, and positive energy, now, let me throw those questions over there real quick, because I do got a couple announcements, <laughs> Okay, so my announcement is After Hours on the Couch will be starting this Thursday. I know I told y'all that I didn't know when yet. It's going to be this Thursday at 1 a.m. If you have any freaky music that you would like played, you're more than welcome to send it. I'll tell you how to get it played. If you want to be featured as a guest, only mature people only. I don't want nobody to come on this bitch acting all weird. Um, I've had people pull their dick out already on the regular podcast. We don't need that. You hear me? We don't want it. We good. Don't do it. But the couch after hours will be starting this Thursday. Next Monday will be mental health talk on the couch. Um, on the 31st, it's going to be fuck fentanyl. If you have a story that you would like to share for any of those subjects, you are more than welcome to come up here on the couch. It's all about love, support, good vibes, and positive energy. On the couch, okay? And you don't know, you never know what you might hear on this couch, ever. It's all type of shit that be happening on this couch. I get to interview some magnificent people, and I get to meet some amazing people as well. So, again, anybody that comes to this couch, make sure you follow, support. It's all about love, support, good vibes, and positive energy. Y'all have a beautiful night. It's Tuesday on the couch. Guess what? I'll be back Thursday. Uh-huh. And make sure that you stay tune to the couch because question from the couch comes out every week some of y'all haven't been answering the questions which i know i'll be asking some crazy questions sometimes i know it but shout out to the ones that have been keeping up and answering the questions and if you're not scared i got a question for y'all tomorrow okay if you do want to come and hit the mic it's only been one person that hit this year because I'll be talking shit. I get it. I get it. Y'all be mad. I'll be talking shit. My bad. I ain't gonna talk shit no more. But if you do want to hit the mic, it's one take, Jake. Yeah. If you really got some bars, 
you ain't got nothing to worry about. We get on that mic. I shoot you a video. We get the play. We get the uh, recording on um, Pro Tools, and we're gonna get it popping. And it's gonna be posted. I post every Friday. So last year, last year's mic on the couch. They went crazy last year. They killed it last year. I can't wait to get some more guests to be on the mic as well. So if you want to hit the mic, you are more than welcome. I do studio time. I do it all. Tap in. It's the Couch Chronicles. Where it ain't no fucking limit. I will see y'all Thursday. Love you. Love you, YouTube. Love you, big ol'. Spotify, Pandora, thank you so much for tuning in. It's the Couch Chronicles where it ain't no fucking limit.